Hello everyone and welcome to this video about how to digitize a map in QGIS. So in this video we will work on a geological map that we will see how to digitize some geological unities. So, so you now you add a ship file if you have already created it or you you have to create one so let's start from the beginning by creating a new shift file so to do that so go to layer and click on create layer then click on new shift file layer so here for the file name so you click on this three point to specify the location of your shift file so and give it here name for example gyro j then click on save so for geometry type so you have some options we have point line and polygon so for us we select polygon as a geometry type because we will digitize an area or a shape on the map for point if there is a point like elevation or point location or stations and line if you want to digitize streams contour line or roads so select polygon and here under new field so you need to add some field to do attribute table so for example we need to add sample so for is a type is a, a text and for length it could be about 10 then click on add to field list let's add another column to the attribute table for example description So for length it could be about 200 and once you finish click on add to field list then click on ok alright so before starting let me show you how to change some parameters in QTrace options for digitizing so to do that so click on settings and click on options then here in digitizing so you need to enable snapping by default so here in snapping by default so you select vertex and segment and also enable show snapping tooltip so you can select this one as well so so for For so for default snapping tolerance here give it 10 and select map unit then for snapping marker color so select a color so the cursor will change color based on the snapping marker color right so once you do that so you click on ok Okay, so after enabling snapping options in settings, so now you need to download and install snapping toolbar. So go to plugins and click on manage and install plugin. So search snapping toolbar and download and install it. I did that before. So once you do, do you do all that. So now we can start digitizing our map so let's get started so let's get started for example by digitizing this unit so you select the shift file and click on toggle editing then click on add polygon so click on this icon so you follow the boundary of uh, do shape or do area 
so once you finish right click and here you need to enter the sample for example we have the here the sample of the o o r m then click on you can add description so so for time we will just add this sample and click on ok all right so now let's digitize the second shape or second formation so let's do that good so here by using this uh, snapping toolbar so you need to enable this icon so magnet icon and enable this enable tracing so okay all right so by enable tracing we we, we will follow the boundary of the first shape or the next shape so right click when you finish digitizing this shape so you give it a sample or a description then click on ok it's ok so now we will digitize this second or this third shape so we will repeat the same process so the objective of this tutorial is to show you how to use this uh, snapping toolbar and enabling digitizing option in settings so now you repeat for the other unit and you do the same thing so and you be careful by using this enable tracing or by using this tracing tool and uh, for this one you could select vertex and uh, segment okay so thank you for watching and see you for next video